I want you to understand that, amen. Here, Isaiah, the prophet Isaiah, amen, he was just pretty much proclaiming what was to come. Amen. He was, he was like a, a newscaster, a news reporter. Amen. He was saying, amen, that the Spirit of God was upon him, amen, and he was coming to give good tidings. He was coming to report, amen, what was to come. Amen. But there's a difference, amen, when Jesus is speaking. Come on, somebody. How many know when Jesus takes it up, there's a difference? Yeah. Amen. Hallelujah. When Jesus speaks, there's a difference. There's a promise that comes behind everything that he says. He is not a God that he should lie. Amen. Hallelujah. Let us go over to Luke chapter 4, verse 18. This is Jesus speaking. And you must understand, amen, that the biblical historians were saying that this was a time of jubilee. This year, amen, when Jesus went to the temple, amen, and he was there to open up the book, this was the time of jubilee. Hallelujah. Amen. And it says here that the Spirit of the Lord is upon me. Thank you, Lord. Because he has anointed me to preach the gospel to the poor. Yes. Hallelujah. Now you got to understand, so when you compare these two scriptures, amen, you will see that Isaiah was more of a report, amen. Amen. And when Jesus started speaking, amen, he was telling them that I'm here to do something. Tell somebody I'm here to do something. I'm, here to do something. I'm not here to tell you. I'm here to do something. I'm here to do something. Says here, he has sent me. Come on, somebody. Yes. Not to tell you you can be healed. Mm -hmm. It says he has sent me to do what? To heal the broken heart. Yes. He has sent me to preach deliverance to the captives. He has sent me so that the recovery of the sight to the blind. Yes. Not to tell you that it's available, but he came to do it. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you. To set at liberty them that are bruised. Yes. To preach the acceptable year of the Lord. We came to introduce Jesus. Amen. But there's so many times that people will come and try to give you, you know, this 
you know, tell you, oh, you'll never have another headache in your life. <laughs> That's not true. It rains on the just as well as the unjust. Amen. But the Bible says when you really got a relationship with God, I let nothing separate me from the love of God. Not my life, not my death, nothing, nothing. Not trials, not tribulation, not persecution. I'll let nothing separate me from the love of God. That's when you know you really got on the inside. Is that when you're determined to walk with Jesus no matter what.